Welcome back everybody to our studies in criminal law. In this episode we're going to be talking about non-fatal offences and we're going to take an introduction to the subject of non-fatal offences before unpacking them over the next five or six lessons. Now this is the penultimate series uh, or at least penultimate set of lessons on specific criminal offences because after this we're going to do dishonesty offences which is just mainly theft and fraud um, and some other smaller element crimes. And then we're going to move on to the final topic of criminal law, which is defences, capacity defences, as well as defences which relate to necessity. So things like um, things like duress and self-defence, for example. Uh, but for now, like I said, we're talking about non-fatal offences. Um, the subject of non-fatal offences is going to basically be the scope of this next series of lessons for the next few lessons. And this lesson is just going to outline the scope of those next few lessons, just to give an idea of the types of non-fatal offences we're going to be covering. We're only going to be covering the most basic of these. There are others that, of course, exist. Um, they're a little bit more niche and esoteric um, that aren't really going to be part of the mandate of this series of lessons. More so, we can do them in future, maybe, or maybe even members-only videos, um, if people so choose. Generally speaking, we'll be focusing much of our attention on both the common law offences of assault and battery, but also the offences, uh, some of which are found in the 1861 Offences Against the Person Act. Uh, these are the sort of two areas that we're going to be spending the most of our time. So, question is, what are non-fatal offences? Well, as you can probably understand, um, you've come this far in criminal law, you're doing a law degree or you're doing an A-level in law or something, uh, and uh, as you would probably think, the name suggests non-fatal offences are those which are harmful, which look to harm somebody or to threaten harm to an individual or perform some kind of what we would describe quite abstractly as a violent act, but they don't kill the victim. They are offences that are not fatal. So if the victim dies as the result of some violent action, then this can never be a non-fatal offence because it wasn't non-fatal. Instead, it is a fatal offence and would constitute something like murder or manslaughter, for example. Now, there are generally two directions that one can go down when we examine the basic non-fatal offences. There are the non-fatal offences established by the common law common assault and battery, which is going to be the subject of the next two lessons. But then also you have the offences which are cited in the 1861 Offences Against the Person Act, which sort of just build on the things that have been established in the common law provisions on non-fatal offences. So common assault, for example, and battery. Uh, and then they add to it with things like assault occasioning actual, uh, actual bodily harm, GBH, GBH with intent, etc, etc. And it is almost like something of a ladder, really, because you can you can view the fate non-fatal offences as having a sort of level of severity as you go up the scale. Um, on the bottom of the scale, you have what would be described as the sort of assault and battery common law offences. Um, and then as you go into looking at the Offences Against the Person Act, you start to see that the scale of severity increases. And in conjunction with the scale of severity increasing, of course, you would understand that the the sentencing and the punishment that is associated with the commission of that offence also starts to increase as well. So assault occasioning actual bodily harm is the next of these offences, and then we get into the really serious non-fatal offences, which include grievous bodily harm, and then finally grievous bodily harm with intent. This is really what is going to be outlining the next few lessons. We're going to do a video on common assault, we're going to do a video on battery, we're going to do a video on assault occasioning actual bodily harm, and then we'll do a video on uh, grievous bodily harm, and then finally grievous bodily harm with intent.